Hi, I'm Chef Julia Dunaway, and today we're going to make tofu scramble. Tofu scramble is a great dish because you can have it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You can have it when everyone else is eating eggs, and you can have it Asian flavored or Tex-Mex flavored and use it in dishes like rice, uh, tofu bowls, or in a taco. So it's just a versatile, delicious dish, and I love it. Okay, the first step in making the tofu scramble is sauteing the various vegetables, and we're going to saute them in stock. So I've got the pan going. It's kind of on medium-high heat. I'll get it a little bit hotter. And I'm going to put in the onions, zucchini, carrots, some mushrooms, and some garlic. And you can use whatever vegetables you have on hand. I just like these vegetables for this dish. If all you had were onions, you could just use onions or mushrooms and onions, but at least have the mushrooms and onions. Now I'm going to add about half a cup of stock. This is a vegetable stock. I usually make my own. You can also buy it. Just um, Or you can use water if you don't have stock. I think the stock adds another little um, layer of flavor. So all we're going to do is get that in there and then put a lid on it. And it's going to be at this medium high heat with the lid on it for 10 minutes. So we've got the vegetables. They're simmering away. You can see I've got the lid on that uh, makes them get nice and soft. And we're, in the meantime, I'm going to take the tofu and get it ready. This is extra firm organic tofu. I like this brand and this type of tofu because it tastes really good. The important thing with tofu is it's very wet. You'll see there's a lot of liquid that comes out of it. So we don't want to use the tofu with all its liquid just because it won't be good for whatever dish it is. It will just be really watery. Uh, there's extra firm tofu, which is what we're using today. We could use soft tofu. We could use medium firm tofu. We could use any kind. But if you use something that was really, really hard, then it would really be hard to mash it with a fork. So this particular type mashes pretty well with a fork. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a bowl the whole thing. So I put the whole block of tofu in the bowl and now I'm just taking my fork and I'm just going to mash it. You don't have to mash it, you don't want to mash it until it becomes a puree. It doesn't really take a lot of force to mash the tofu. It just really takes a little bit and you can see it kind of becomes this, you know, little small pieces which is all I want and I don't have to mash every tiny bit of it because once I put it in the pan and start moving it around, it will crush it up some more. So I'm just kind of leaving it big, not too big. That's it. Okay, I'm going to put together a little spice mix for the tofu scramble, and I'm just going to throw in a bunch of different spices. These are probably things you have at home. Some paprika, some onion powder, half a teaspoon of the onion powder, a teaspoon of chili powder, any kind of chili powder, mild, medium, hot, whatever you like. About half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a little black pepper, probably about a fourth of a teaspoon of the black pepper. Sometimes black pepper can be a little overpowering, so we can always add more at the end, but we don't want to put too much in the beginning. And then this is the turmeric, which gives it a really nice color. We'll put about half of a teaspoon of that in. Looks like I need to stock up on turmeric powder. This is a really good one, though, and it uh, has wonderful flavor. I'm going to put about half a teaspoon of salt in this. This is kosher salt. If you like it saltier, you can add more salt later, but I don't like to overdo the salt. And that's it. I just mix this up and I'm ready to go. So the uh, last thing for the spice mix that I'm going to add now is nutritional yeast. And I'm going to put two tablespoons of that in here. Some people really like nutritional yeast and put a lot in their food, but I don't really like it to be too strong in my dishes. All right, so we've had this sauteing for about 10 minutes, and you can see how it's absorbed all the liquid. It's nice and soft and well-cooked, so it's a perfect time to add the tofu. So I'm just going to add this whole bowl of that block of tofu. I'm going to crank the heat up a little bit. And then I'm going to add some of these other things. We have the chopped tomato. And I'm going to add the spinach last, so I'm adding the tofu and the tomato. And then I'm going to also add the spice mixture. You'll see the color change once I add this. It's going to start looking a little bit different. And that's because of the red from the chili powders and the yellow from the turmeric. It'll take a minute or two, but the tofu will start looking 
more like tofu scramble. And if this dish seems a little dry to you at this point, you can always add more vegetable stock or water. So I always keep some handy right by the stove so I can add a little bit more. So I think I'll just add a little bit and then I'll just let it cook. At this point, we just let it cook for another five minutes or so so all the flavors combine and the tofu gets nice and hot. So it's, it's ready to serve now, but right before I get ready to take it out of the pan, I'm gonna put a little lemon juice on it. And then some spinach, fresh spinach. Spinach won't take very long to cook. It just wilts right in there. <clears throat> and then I'll uh, add a little dash of this low sodium soy sauce. So we're not gonna really worry about cooking the spinach for too long. We're just going to let it get into the hot tofu and it will, it will start wilting. So while it's doing that, I'm going to add just a little half a teaspoon of soy sauce. And it's ready to go. Alright, it's time to eat. I'm going to plate the tofu scramble and put some garnishes on it. And then it's time to eat. I like to add a few scallions sliced thinly, some jalapeno peppers because I like it spicy, and then just a little cilantro. It's ready to eat and you can enjoy this with some tortillas, flour or corn, some rice, even some fried potatoes with no oil of course. So I hope you enjoy this recipe.